Hi, this video is an overview of the new features that have been added to Power Music Professional since its launch last year. There will be detailed videos and tutorials on how to use these produced later on. First thing we've done is we've tried to improve the usability of Power Music Professional on small touch screens. We've done this a number of ways by using larger icons and also the drop down lists are more spaced out and it's easier to hit on the item you want when you're using your finger on a touch screen. You'll find this all throughout the interface in Power Music. Secondly, we've added a new feature called parts. So for any single song, you can have multiple parts in that song. So in this particular march, that's the piccolo part, there's the flute part, there's the oboe part, and there's a bassoon part. This could also be used for storing different uh, versions of a same song in different keys. So you could have the G version, the D version, the C version. We've added an archive number to songs. We've added a new quick find. And here all you do is type in any piece of information and your entire database of music will be searched for that information, including the archive number. We've redesigned the song editor. If we have a quick look at the sheet music editor, quite a different look to it. Much more graphical thumbnails at the bottom. We can import our music from PDF. We can import it from a scanner, conventional flatbed scanner. And we've added a completely new feature, which is import from a document scanner or a live scanner. You can see this is a, a live scanner. Uh, we have also um, added a new feature called Redo, Scan and Add, where if you apply a number of operations like rotating, cropping, changing brightness and contrast, you can just apply that one operation to any new document you scan in. And that is for both the flatbed scanner and for the live scanner. And you can add your music from images which you already saved of your music. In the Chord Sheet Editor, now if you import from PDF, and the PDF contains an image of the chord sheet, not the actual text of it, it will attempt to OCR it and give you a chord sheet which you can then edit and transpose. Parts are worked with through the song editor. So if we're going to edit song, and we go to song parts, we see here we can add a part, we can change the part, and we can delete a part. All these features will be available in the new version of Power Music, which will be released around about the end of April after the exhibition we're doing in Frankfurt. You'll be offered the update automatically if you've got Power Music Professional. There's no cost for it. And I think you can see there's a lot of powerful new features which will be very useful for musicians in Power Music.